So I'm going to start speaking in English now, and this is uh, with the blessing of the Gurdwara Committee. They've allowed us every Sunday to come and talk about Sikhi in English. And there's really three reasons. Um, firstly, the new generation doesn't really want to be told, what, do something. They want to know why. Yeah? So the biggest question they have is, why should I do this? So the focus of these talks every Sunday, Maharaj Kirpanan, will be to talk about why Sikhi came about and the why behind everything. Why did we do this? Why did we do that? If we answer that why and then also be explained how we do something properly, I don't think we need to worry too much about if people will do it. Because Sikhi is so beautiful, as long as you explain everything nicely, people will understand it and they will follow it. So we're going to try in our time to focus on the why. So, also, um, one of the things which is quite clear is Sikhi is no longer about Punjabis. In this Sangat, even in Southall, you can see a lot of people who are white, who are black, of many different colours, who now are coming into Sikhi. So in many ways, we have to cater to them as well. Because we can't just say, learn Punjabi, they need to know what Sikhi is first. So this Uprala that we've done, is also designed for those people who aren't necessarily from Punjabi background to come into Sikhi as well. And the final thing is, the youth nowadays, they need to relate to the person who's telling them about Sikhi. They need to feel that they and that person are from the same background. Nothing wrong with all the, all the great Kirtanis, Kathavachiks and the great people that come from India, but the reality is, that it shouldn't just be that Sikhi is from people that have come from India. We people here who are born here, brought up here, we also follow Sikhi. Yeah? And we should be telling people in our language the way that they relate to it, so they can connect to us about what Sikhi is and why we're inspired to follow Sikhi and why they can as well. So there's many different reasons why we decided to do this Qatar program in English. But the ideal is obviously that we all understand Punjabi, but let's start with English first, yeah? so we can get people inspired. Um, also, just so you know, the Sangat here, apart from Benji who's from Canada, well, we grew up in Southall. You know, this is our Gurdwara. I remember when the Gurdwara was in Havoc Road, and it was the old little Gurdwara. This is 20 odd years ago, and we used to sit on the little uh, side partings. There weren't any tables for the kids, for the uh, places for the kids to sit, and we used to sit on the on the side of the wall. And from then, the Gurdwara has got now to two Gurdwari, yeah, two big Gurdwari. And all that time. I haven't seen that much Katha in English. And people have come into Sikhi anyway because the Sangat is so strong. And the Simran programs are so strong. But now we need to reach out. And one of the things I realized recently when I did some talks in a couple of schools is that people are really confused about Sikhi. And the problem is, uh, Sar Sangaji, that because of that confusion, other people are taking advantage of our kids. Yeah? And it's a lot happening a lot nowadays where in colleges and in schools, there's a lot of people from other faiths, for example Christian or Muslim faith, who are questioning our kids about Sikhi. And our kids unfortunately don't have that knowledge. It's really, it's really a sad thing when they can't explain even about Guru Nanak Dev Ji going to Mecca. They get confused about that. And there's loads of questions being cast upon our faith. And you know they say, Jabe baan lagyo, tabe roz chagyo. I've seen people that I've known for many years, families who are good Sikhs and their kids have become Muslim and or they have become Christian and we all know it it's the, it's the kind of the hidden secret in our, in our community we don't talk about it but it's happening a lot and it's a real sad thing because if you think about our Gurus and how many Shahidis they gave to keep their kids in Sikhi and you just listen about the Char Sahib Zadeh and they refused to even bend their neck to go inside the Mughal court and now our kids are walking away from our beautiful faith and we need to actually connect to our kids and explain to them with love just the basics, the basics of Sikhi 
And the program that we've done now is called Basics of Sikhi. And the reason is that a lot of our people, they argue about a really small proportion of things that aren't that important. They argue about them all the time. And it's like the 1% the of things that divide us. And actually, Sikhi is 99% very simple. You know, as we started off the Katha, we said, Aavo sant milo mere paai, mil har har katha karo. It's Guruji, Guru Ram Das, he's telling us, Come, O Sikhs, come, O Saints, come, O Brothers, let's talk about Wahiguru. And the focus of these talks will be to focus upon Guru Granth Sahib Ji and really basics of Sikhi. We're not going to talk about all the controversial issues. Anybody who goes on the online forums can see what those are. But actually, the basics are that we've got our Guru Granth Sahib Ji and we've got something very simple just to share and it's very beautiful. Simple, it's Sikhi is simple, but it's also very beautiful. All things in life are very profound. Profound things are quite simple, but they are very deep as well. So we'll start with Ardas to Guruji, and the Ardas will come from Shabad Azari. As we've all heard, Mara says, Kya ho kathi kathe kat dekha, main akath na kath na jai. It's like a tongue twister. Kya ho kathi kathe kat dekha, main akath na kath na jai. Jo tud paave, soi aankha, til teri badi aai. And it's like we're dogs, you know? We're just shouting a little bit of Guruji's greatness. That's all we can do. Because Waheguru is so beyond, is so great, we can't really explain the whole of Waheguru. But all we can do is talk from one angle about the qualities. About the qualities. And we're going to start off with a little bit of Simran and a little bit of a Shabad that Bandi's prepared. And that Shabad, I want to tell you the history behind that Shabad, just to start the Katha session. The history of that Shabad is when Guru Angad Dev Ji, who is the second Guru, when Guru Angad Dev Ji heard that Guru Nanak Dev Ji had passed on. See, Guru Nanak Dev Ji made Guru Angad Dev Ji the Guru and then he retired and he went back to Kartarpur and he goes, now you Guru, you Guru Angad, you carry on. And Guru Angad Dev Ji used to meet Guru Nanak but not all the time. And then one day, Guru Angad Dev Ji heard that Guru Nanak Dev Ji had passed on. And he was so sad. And this is the hook, the hook, the shabad that he wrote. We're going to sing it. You know, nowadays, when we say to people, what is a Sikh? We say, oh, you know, a Sikh is a person who believes in one God and the ten Gurus. Yes, that is a factual description of a Sikh. Yeah? But that doesn't tell you what a Sikh is inside. Then there's the one that Sikh believes we follow the Guru Granth Sahib Ji and all those things. They're again very technical, very clinical. They don't inspire anybody. I say a better definition would be based upon this Shabbat. And it's basically a Sikh is somebody who loves the Guru more than they love themselves. So the good Sikh tries to look at Guru only and not follow himself. If Manamuk Hega, who follows his himself, main karna jo main karna. Yeah? And the Guru Sikh says, main o karna jo mere guru ne kya. I want to do what my Guru told me, versus what my mind wants to do. So that's what we're going to focus on. So it's a story of love. It's a story of jira Sikh, Guru Samne Matha Tegda, he gives his heart. So Sikh loves the Guru more than they love themselves. So we're going to try now and go into this Shabbat. And the translation is going to come up on the, on the screen above you. But basically, Guru, Na, Guru Angad Dev Ji is saying, Oh, what a shame I died before my beloved. I love my beloved so much, I don't want to see the day that my beloved died and I was still alive. You know, that's the kind of love that Guru Angad Dev Ji had for Guru Nanak. He wished he was dead before. What a sad thing it is if a mother sees her own children die. Yeah? And Guru Angad Dev Ji has got the same love. He doesn't want to go before Guru Nanak Dev Ji goes. He always wants that Guru Nanak Dev Ji is alive and he passed away. But it didn't happen that way. And then we're going to go into a little bit of Simran. Sorry to interrupt. So we'll sing some Mahi Guru with it as well.
So hopefully Maharaj will bless us every Sunday that we can really connect as one Sangat together, come towards Guruji and try and learn something about the basics. And I'd like to start with something we all really know and it's the Mool Mantra. We all teach our kids the Mool Mantra, we all learn it ourselves. And I just want to start by saying that these talks aren't really focused at the young kids. So if you bring a five-year-old kid or a six-year-old kid here, that's good for them to see, some, but they're not really focused at that age. They're more focused at the teenagers and the adults, the people that are going to teach their kids. Yeah. So don't think that because a poster looks like a blackboard and it's got writing on it that it's designed for kids. Bring your adult friends here. We know there's loads of people that are in their 30s and 40s that right now couldn't explain to you the Mool Mantra. Yeah? And it's the basic thing. We've all got posters of this Mool Mantra on our walls when we were studying at university. But even then, if you said, what does it mean? We'd find it hard. And, it, and I want to give you the background to some of this. I was talking yesterday to a lady. She said, even she was from a Punjabi family. She grew up in India. And she was doing a lot of part when she was a kid growing up. She said, she used to say, she said to me, I used to say to Guruji, Guruji, to see a part in a mushkil kyo banaya? Sokha likh den de. E karo, o karo, e karo, o, o na karo, o na karo. Why is it so hard to understand Gurbani? That's what she said. This is a lady who's got kids. She grew up in India. You know, what we want is a list of rules in religion. Do these things, do those, don't do these things, and you get to heaven. And, and that's really what most of us in simplicity want. Isn't, it, isn't, it, isn't that true? Yeah? But religion is a bit more complicated than that. You see, because actually Guru Nanak Dev Ji didn't come to create a religion. Guru Nanak Dev Ji came to connect us to God. And that requires for our soul to connect to something. Just like a mobile phone, like an iPhone. We all got iPhones? Yeah? And an iPhone can connect to someone on the call. And an iPod touch cannot connect to anybody. Only have a Wi-Fi. Yeah? So an iPod touch is what the rest of the world tells you that you are. Do your job, do all the things, you email and all the rest of it, but don't connect to anybody. Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, no, no, you're an iPhone. You're meant to connect to somebody. You see? Don't forget that you've got this function of being a phone. You can call someone. You can connect to the one who made you. And so what I want to do is explain the simple thing that we already know, the Mool Mantra. And just start with explaining each one slowly. So that when we go home, hopefully we'll get up to Hukum Rajai Chana. It's quite ambitious. Because people spend an hour talking about just Ikum Kar. So maybe we'll just go through it a little bit quicker than you could do. But let's just start and see where we get to. Now, the history of this Mool Mantra, just so we know, you know people say Mool Mantra or Maha Mantra, don't worry about that. From Ikko Ankar to Guru Prasad, that part was given to Guru Nanak Dev Ji directly from Wahiguru. Do you know when he was given it? When he became Guru Nanak. So when people say to us, who made your Guru a Guru? Well the answer is, Wahiguru made Guru Nanak Dev Ji a Guru. He didn't just get up one day and say, oh, I fancy being a Guru. It didn't happen that way. He was doing Pagdi every morning when he was living at his sister's, where his sister was based in, I've lost it all of a sudden. I've been to that place, so I just forgot the name. Um, Sultanpur. Sultanpur Lodi, Nandirji was every morning doing part at the river Bain. And one day, we know the story, some of us do, some of us don't. One day, Nandirji went into the river to do Shnan and didn't come back out. And he was gone. Some people say three days, by money seeing rights, up to eight days. He, was dis he disappeared into the river. And everybody thought, oh, Nanak is dead. He wasn't a guru then. He was born in, 19 in 1469, and in 1499, 
this thing happens. He's about 30, 31, around about that time. Basically, Guru Dev, Guru Dev Ji went into the river and he writes that he was given a job. And what we know from Bhai Gurdas Ji is that with his tapasya, Pari Kiki tapasya, he got into the court of Bhai Guru. So you can imagine the, the court of the Creator himself and in comes Nanak. And Guru Dev Ji is told, now you, Nanak, I'm giving you a job here, right? By why he goes, really? The job is go and spread the name. So Gunan Devji was made guru by Wahi Guru. And Gunan Devji said to say to Wahi Guru, How can I become a guru when I haven't got a guru? See in India you need a guru first, then you can have somebody else to become your jailer. And then Wahi Guru said, I'll be your guru. The Shabad will be your guru. Yeah? And the Shabbat is the Guru, even for us. See how beautiful it is? So why Guru said to him, I'm going to give you the Shabbat, and that Shabbat is going to be your Guru. And what was the Shabbat he was given? The Mool Mantar, the part that goes up to Guru Prasad. So we'll just repeat it ourselves. And imagine, imagine you're sitting, and Gunan Devji told you, guess what I was given by Wahi Guru? Directly. This is straight from Wahi Guru to Gunan Devji. So we'll say it together, and just imagine ourselves getting this from Guru Nanak. These are the words of Akal Puruk directly to Guru Nanak Devi saying, You are now the Guru. So, Ek Om Ka Sak Naam Karta Puruk Nir Pao Nir Akal Murat Ajuni Sapam Guru Prasad. The first part is unique. Ikku starts with a number. There's not one single religious text in the world which starts with a number. Ik. What he's saying is that. There's only one. Ikki hai ga sab kuch. We are one, the prayer is one. Why Guru is it somewhere you can't see? Why Guru is inside us? And everywhere around us. You see, we're inside Why Guru. We're not outside Why Guru and Why Guru is somewhere far away in the heavens. Why Guru is everywhere. We're inside Why Guru, not the other way around. Also, Why Guru is inside us. So basically, the Sikhi concept of why Guru is, imagine you're a drop of water in the ocean. I want you just to try to close your eyes for a second. We must get this oneness concept right, this ik. Imagine you're floating in the sea. Just close your eyes for a second. I'll talk you through it. Imagine you're floating in the sea. Everywhere around you, it's just clear blue sea. Okay? Nothing around you, just you by yourself, floating. Now, imagine yourself, don't worry, you can breathe under water now, you've got this magic power, you can breathe under water. Just imagine sinking down. Okay? You're sinking down into the ocean. It's all around you. It's nice warm water. It surrounds you with love. It's all around you. The water now starts to seep into your little bubble you've got around yourself. And this bubble that's keeping you separate from the water, it's going to start seeping into that bubble. It's going to start coming in. You're not scared of it. It's very comforting. It's just part of you and you're part of that bubble. So what Maharaj is saying is that that's Wahi Guru. Ik. Everywhere, present and doing everything around you, Ik. And the next part is Om. God. See this, this Om God, that's a sound, Om, yeah? This is a sound that made the world. Kita Pasao Eko Kawao. The one made the world with the one sound. You know when they say in the beginning there was a word? Guru is saying this was the word, Om God. Akar is the word for creation. So this creation is a God and the Ik 
through the sound, made a God. That's all it is. It's a process. People say, it says there is one God. You see? That's getting it all wrong. It's not. It's describing a process. Ik Om God. It made the world. And that oneness is what we're part of. We're part of that one. We're not separate from it. It's just a case of breaking down this wall around us, Homi. We've convinced ourselves that we're not part of this one. But we're separate. Mother is saying it's not true. You're part of that one. What you need to do is break down that wall you've got around you. Once you've broken it in, you will start to merge with the one. It's an experience-based faith. We don't want you to have faith in what Guru. There's no point walking around. If you're walking around right now, hoping there's a God. You know you're hedging your bets? You know like 50%, 60% of bet, hedge my bets, probably there is a God. And that way, if I believe in that God, I'll get to heaven. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what Guru Deji wants you to do. Guru Deji wants you to meet that God. Not something in the future when you die, right here on this earth. Ik on God. And when I said, Kita Vasao, Eko Kavao, Ostobad, Tiste Hue, Lak Dariyao. When people say they made a million rivers, those rivers are not rivers that we see outside in the you know, like Punjab, the Panj rivers. It's June. The June that we go through. But June is being born and dying. One life cycle. It says 8.4 million lives of what Gunadiji is telling us. We all come through reincarnation. The one made us, and then he created this illusion. Now we forget we're not part of that one. And also we think this is the only life we ever had. It's not true. We've had loads of lives. 8.4 million lives. We've come through reincarnation. And this one time, as a human being, this is your time you can actually meet God. So reincarnation is part of that Om. So he made the world in this reincarnation fashion. Right? And then a God. It's the world is now created. So the world is real, but it's also not real. Because the world goes out like that from the ik and it goes back into the ik. You see? So the world is not real. It's not as real as Waheguru is real. You understand? And that's what the next part says, Sat. The Sat means eternally true. Truth. It's not such as in Ard, such, Jugad, such. That's true. It's true in the past, it's true now, and it will be true in the future. This is Sat. Sat is something different. It's the eternal truth. That Ikon God is Sat. It's the only Sat there is. And we are not the Sat unless we become part of that ik. It's a cycle. Yeah? And the sat is a bit separate because we say satguru and we say sat naam. Next part is sat naam. Now, you see how you got sat and naam and later on the naam comes out and the guru can go there and become satguru. You see, so the sat is slightly separate from naam and guru. It's a word in itself. And the sat naam is a word, but sat itself we have to focus upon because it means the eternal truth, which is ik on God. That's the real truth. Because there's a story, Guru Gobind Singh said to the saints, he said, who can tell me the whole art of the Guru Granth Sahib before I jump on my horse? Yeah? And he said, come on, who can tell the whole story of Guru Granth Sahib Ji before Guru Gobind Singh Ji gets on his horse? And... You know what, this, what the, one of the Sikhs said? He said, Ik on God, Satguru Prasad. And that little, that little thing is called a Beej Mantar by the Dandang Dhaksad. And that basically is the real seed of Sikhi. And that explains everything. So the Sat is there as well. Ik on God, Satguru Prasad. Or Satguru Prasad. Point is, the Sat refers to the true and eternal truth which is Ik. The next part is Naam, Sat Naam. You see this Naam thing is really important to us. Because even earlier on the Shabbat they were singing, it was all about Naam. And it says in Gurbani, Nanak ke kar keval Naam. The only thing in Gurnadeji's house is Naam. 
That's why it's the second word in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Ek Omkar Sat Naam. Through the name, we're going to find this Sat. Yeah? There's no other way you can find this Sat but through the name. The Naam is the path. Yeah? And Har Har Naam. We said in Guru Ramdas, we said at the beginning, Har Har Naam Bohit Hai. This is the boat we're going to jump on and it's going to take us across to Vahiguru. And also, it says, we say in Ardas as well, just to relate it back to what you already know, he said, Nanak Naam Jahaj Hai. A boat. This Naam is the boat. We're going to jump on the boat of Naam and we're going to get swim across the ocean. This Naam is really important to us, but a lot of people don't understand what it is. Now, when we know someone, we know their name. Yes? To make it simple, it's the connection. Imagine you, and I said to you before, about the phone, the iPod, and the iPhone. Imagine you calling someone, who are you going to call? Waiguru. See? We're going to call Waiguru, and when we connect, we say Waiguru, and they'll say, yeah. See, you get an answer back. It's that connection we're trying to get. When we connect to Waiguru, then the Naam becomes real. And Sat Naam. You will find the Sat through the Naam. And also, we see later on, it says Sat Guru. The Guru is not a mass Guru, or a physics Guru, or a chemistry Guru. He's a Sat Da Guru. He teaches Sat. The Naam gets us to Sat. And the Guru gets us to Sat. Yeah? So the Guru is also a Guru of the Truth. So imagine this, the name of the Truth joins us to the Truth, and the Guru of the Truth joins us to the Truth. And what do we want? The Truth. The real Truth. What's always been around. So it's Sata, Naam and Guru, they're like this trilogy. You know if you're going to say like the Divine Trilogy of Christianity, the Divine Trilogy of Sikhi, is Sat, Guru, and Naam. And guess who gives you Naam? Guru. See how it works? So beautiful. Guru gives us Naam, and the Naam gives us the Sat, and the Guru also comes from Sat. Because who gave us Guru? Why Guru did? Guru gives us Naam, Naam gets me to Sat. Guru gives me truth about Sat, and I'm going to go to Sat by Guru. Guru Dwari. And this is the whole Ekonkar Sat Naam through the name. You know that in Hinduism they have this thing called Sat Chit Anand. And these are three things that are key. When you chit on the Sat, you get Anand. Yeah? When you have the truth in your consciousness, you get to Anand. What we're saying is when you have the Naam, you get to Sat. And we're going to do a Shabbat now from um, Rehra Sahib, which illustrates this exact point. When we say Vaheguru, that's the name we've been given to say. That's the Guru's mantra. Vaheguru, Gur Mantar hai, Jap Hame Khoi. What that means is, Vaheguru is the mantra that Guru has given us, and by repeating that mantra, we're going to lose Hame. Remember Hame? It's the thing that's surrounding us, that makes us think we're separate from Vaheguru. A home is our worst poison because it separates us from our true beloved. So we're going to try and lose that home by doing japana of this naam which is Vahiguru. And you know, in Rara Sahib, every evening, it happened today as well, yeah? There's a shabba that comes up. It's Pai Parapat Manukh Dehuriya Gobind Manamiki Ehe Teri Bariya. This is a ex direct explanation of what we're talking about now. You've now come into this earth as a human being. Reincarnation again, yeah? Now you're human. Before you might have been a pig, or a cat, or a dog. Now you're human. What are you going to do with this human life? What's the point of it? The point is to connect. The translation will come up. You know, when we play Pabbi or something with cards, yeah? That's a teri bari, o teri bari, o teri... This is your turn, this is my turn, as a human being, to connect to Vahiguru. That's our job. Otherwise, we wasted the human life. And that comes from now. 
then the next way is avar kaaj tere kitte na kaam nothing else is any use to you nothing else kuch bhi kar lo is bina fayda apart from mere saath sangat paaj keval naam even the hour we spent here and we spent said our wahi gurus that's the only good thing we done the rest of it was just normal nothing special this is the stuff we're going to take with you like we say to my i say to my son it's wahi guru money you can't take less go money with you now you're going to die we know that yeah reincarnation is true we're all going to die we can't take other stuff with us not our family not our money nothing all we can take is this naam this is the laha this is the 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 har you know the hari just this is what we're going to take with us so we're earning money here let's call it wahiguru money har tar har tar pancho ho wo bhagwan ke this is the tan the money they were going to earn so this shabad explains why you're born and we read it every day in gurdwara every day and every sikh family if you got this radio on punjab radio on is playing this same thing but such a sad thing why guruji that a lot of our people don't even understand this one simple maxim one simple truth you're born as a human being and you've come here to connect to your divine and if you don't do this it's going to be of everything is going to be of no use to you and you know what when we're going to go across that ocean sadan jam lag pag jal taran ke use all your strength to cross over this ocean if you don't do this naam japna if you don't listen to your guru he tells you what's going to happen next you're going to drown janam pritha jat ram maya ke your life will be wasted in the color of maya it means you bought the illusion guru sahib has come to break the illusion and we bought the illusion even though we are born in his house or even though we're sitting in his house we forgot what he said the bani is the guru we have to listen to the bani and understand it so we're going to sing that shabad now pai parapat manak de huriya गोविंद मिलन की ए तेरी बढ़िया है
10 minutes to 7. So, what Manaj is telling us very clearly is that you've come on this human earth for a purpose. Let's not forget that purpose. After that, it says, Karta Burk. Now, this Karta means that kar the, the one person who's doing everything is Vaheguru. Everything is controlled by Vaheguru. So it's like, who's driving the car? Vaheguru. Who's sitting in the car? Vaheguru. Who made the car? Vaheguru. So when we think it's all me, I can do this, that's where we're getting stuck. We need to surrender to Vaheguru and say, to see it. You know, what well, I was saying the other day, if we think I'll do it, fair enough, you do it. If we say to Y group, you do it. Imagine the one who made the whole world, all the different billions of galaxies, made everybody in the planet, all those people, and that one does it for you. It's not going to be that hard. We're surrendering ourselves to Y group, but also we accept the hukum. Is that hukum here? Hukum manne hoye parwan. We accept the hukum, we accept this is the will of the divine. If we fight against the will, what will we get? Only duk. Can't change it. God made it happen. You fight and fight and fight, you can't change it. It's just the way it is. If we accepted it and opened ourselves up to Wahi Guru, we get bliss, we get anand. Yeah? When I accept my Guru's hukum, I get anand. And then Guru Rajan Devji tells us, Nanak says, give me the naam, everything else to me will be fine. It's kind of like fighting to get somewhere when the solution is already inside you. Just get naam. Sikhi is so simple, all we got to do is call the Creator to get to the Creator. That's it. No need to go somewhere else. No need to go to some sacred place. No need to wash yourself. 100 million times a day, all that kind of stuff. No need to eat this, that, whatever you think you might have to eat to get to Y group. It's very simple. Tirith Naam and Jao, Tirith Naam hai. This Naam is the Tirith. You know, Tirith is a holy place of pilgrimage. Guru is saying, don't go anywhere to do Tirith. Don't go somewhere to bathe in Tirith. Just do Naam. If you can do anything else with your time as a Sikh, just get up in the morning and call Y group. Forget how you don't need to do it, we can talk about that later on. Just say, Waheguru, I'm open to meeting you. If you open yourself up, Waheguru will come meet you. Not that hard. And this, Nana Ke Kar Keval Naam. It's the simplest way, just saying Waheguru, just calling the name. And it says in Gurbani, Tu Tu Karta Tu Hua. Mujh Me Rehana Hum. I said you, I said you. I became you. Yeah? When you meet someone and then you become that person, that's what Vaheguru is saying. Say Vaheguru to get to Vaheguru. The Naam is the boat to the Sat. Well, the more Naam we do, the more we're going to get to the Sat. And we're going to talk about that's Jabji Sahib. We'll just try and go to Jabji Sahib slowly, slowly, slowly to understand. If we don't do Naam, we're going to drown. If we do Naam, we're going to get Anand and bliss and happiness. We're going to do the duk par har, sukh kar le jai. We're going to come here, leave our duk, and go home with sukh. So that's what we want to do, don't we? Who wants duk? No one. Who wants sukh? Everybody goes, yes, I do. And Guru says, if you want sukh, then come here and say Vahe Guru, at your own house. So Vahe Guru, the mantra to Guna Dev Ji, says nirpo nirvair without fear without hate so why guru has no fear of anybody but also we shouldn't have any fear we're scared of job security we're scared of this we're scared of that we're scared of so many things we forget to say why guru to be the telling the truth nowadays seek families will tell their kids not to go into Sikhi, because it's scary. You're going to end up have a dhari, have a bug, you're going to go like this, you might, who knows where you might end up. <laughs> this, this is the saddest thing. The our Sikh women 
were prepared to cut their babies into little pieces and wear them around their neck in a heart to say, Ki, we don't want them to leave Sikhi. Nowadays, our own parents are holding the kids back. You do sick now, man. You don't know where you might end up. Not that they're going to end up at Ikum God and merge with the one. That's not important. Just don't lose your job. Don't lose your family. All these things that we talk about. That's again, Maya, Galju, it's come on top of us so badly, we're forgetting this is the truth here, the biggest treasure we've been given, right here, and we don't even bring our kids to take it to Matarde or to Kuchisik. How, you know, how many people teach their kids every day part? So I've seen kids of six, seven years old that couldn't do the Mool Matar, or all the names of the Guru Granth Gurus. I've seen people of 15, 16 who couldn't do it. I went to a school recently, and I just did a talk to A-level students and they didn't have a clue about Sikhi. Gurbani says, Akhar kya na Not even a little bit of the Akhar, they didn't have. Sasanga ji, bring them here. If you get nothing else, bring your kids here, sit them down for here for one hour, I promise we'll keep them entertained, yeah, if they're old enough. And what we want to do with this program is just to keep that, so keep that going. The, the, the learning, you know, Guru is Gyan, knowledge, we're going to learn that knowledge. We're going to finish off soon, I just want to get through the rest of the Guru Prasad maybe if we're lucky. So, Karta Purukh Nirpo Nirvan. Why Guru doesn't have any fear, doesn't have any hate. Don't be scared of going to Why Guru. Don't think that, oh, I've done so many bad things, Why Guru's not going to want me. Why Guru doesn't have any fear, he's always forgiving. Sada Sada De Allah. Yeah? Even say, Meherwan, Meherwan. Sahib Mera Meherwan. He is very, very, very Dialu. Very, very compassionate. Whatever state you're in, turn up to Wai Guru's door and say, I'm ready for you. Won't turn you away. That's the truth. We even know the Sajjan Tug, who used to kill people. We even know people that were cannibals. Nan Dev Ji turned them around and they became Prajalaks of Sikhi. Yeah? The people you see on the stage, you know, you might think, oh, they've always been to Sikhi. I tell you myself, when I was 21, I'm not into Sikhi, I was drinking, smoking, all the stuff you think about, i done it. It's Guruji. When he chooses to take you, he takes you. You haven't got much of a chance unless you just decide to follow that. You know, Alice in the wormhole, just jump in and goes, I'll see where it goes. Just jump, and Maharaj will catch you. Akal Murat. This why Guru is a god. If we want to be a god, if we don't want to die, let's go towards Wahi Guru. Ham yeah? Akali. Yeah? Guru, Guru Gobi says he's an Akali. And the Akali forge was what they said about the Khalsa forge. That we are immortals. If we want to be immortal, go towards Guru. Otherwise, death is going to get you. And death is going to get all of us. But they say that if a Sikh behaves like a Sikh, at the end of the life, it's not Jam Dut that comes for us. Jam Nahi Avyaniri. What comes? Guru Gobind Singh Ji himself comes for the sick. Maharaj comes. Say, Aja, you've done your job in life. You've got two choices. Go to such Khand or come back here and do some more seva for the Panth. So we shouldn't be scared of all the rest of it, of dying. If we do our job as a sick, we're going to get those two options. Go up or come back and do some more seva for the Panth. That's what Guru Gobind Singh promises. To the, to the to the six. You listen to me, I'll take care of you. It's very simple, it's a relationship. When we say that a Sikh loves the Guru more than he loves himself, that's what we do. What does the Guru do? It says in Sukhmi Sahib that Satgur Sikh ko naam tan de Guru ka Sikh vadpagi he The Guru gives his Sikh the wealth of naam. Yeah, this naam we've been singing the wealth of it, he gives it to the sick. That's what he has in his house. He says that in Asa Diwar, he says that um, Har Amrit Pagat Pandar hai Gur Sat Gur Paase Ram Raji That Sat Guru has the treasure of Naam, of Amrit Naam. And he is able to give it to us. And that's what he gives us, and that's why we're so lucky. Gur Ka Sikh Vard Paagi hai the Guru Sikh is very lucky. And this is the thing that we need to understand. Why are we so lucky? It's like walking around with a winning lottery ticket in your back pocket. 
we all got this lottery ticket in our back pocket of Sikhi. We need to cash it in. The cashing it in is coming here and learning what is inside that treasure we've been given. A God Mudan is immortal. The form of Waheguru is immortal. Ajuni. Waheguru does not get born and then die. Waheguru is immortal. Was never born and died. But we, conversely, are gonna born, are gonna be born and we are gonna die. So we are June. We are Fasewe in June. We are trapped in the cycle of life and death. Why group isn't? But if we catch on to why group, we can get out. Sa bang. Why group made why group. Very confusing, I agree. Why group made why group. No one made why group. We are made, why group is not made. Not by anybody. So that might be very hard to get your head around. But point is, no one made why group. And a sick goes straight to that one that was made by himself. Sikh doesn't go to any other Devi or Devdi. We don't go to Shivaji because he was made by Waiguru. We don't go to other things that were made by Waiguru. We go down to Waiguru. Straight to the one that made us. Guru Prasad. This is the bit we'll finish off now. This Guru Prasad has been translated very badly over the years by the true Guru's grace, by the Guru's, but through the Guru. What we're talking about is the Guru has been given the power. Guru has been given the power by Wahi Guru to get us enlightened. Guru, when he went in front of Wahi Guru, when he got the, this Mool Mantra, he was made the Guru by this Guru Prasad. He was told, now you, Nanak, you are now the Guru and you have the power of giving Naam. Guru has been given the power by Wahi Guru of enlightening us. So we come here and do Matha Dek and we all say Sat Guru Nanak or Sat Te Vardha Sat Guru Nanak Jin Kar Rakhi Meri That's the truth. Guru Nanak Dev Ji has been given the power to enlighten us. In other faiths they have prophets. The prophets don't have the power to enlighten. They just speak what's told to them by the Creator. That's not in Sikhi. In Sikhi Guru Nanak Dev doesn't just have the wisdom from Mahi Guru, he also has direct power. It's called Shakti. And when we say to who do we want the Shakti, who do we want to protect us? We want Bahi Guru, we want Guru Nandaji to protect us. He's the one with the power to give us enlightenment. He's been given this power. Har Amrita Pagata Pandar hai Guru Satguru Pase Ram Raji. He's been given this power by Bahi Guru. We've misunderstood how great our Guru is. That's why we say, Ik Oankar Sat Guru Prasad. See, Ik Oankar, whole world. That's the Sat. And how are you going to get it? Guru Prasad. The Guru of the Truth has the power not just to teach us the truth, but to join us to the truth. This is why we follow Sikhi. Because Guru has power. We don't just follow somebody who sells loads of people nowadays, the, the Babe and the Sons and stuff in India, who have become their own Gurus now. They're just repeating the wisdom given by Guruji. They're reading the letters of Guruji and they're pretending that they've got the wisdom. But I'm sitting here reading how Guruji's written. That doesn't mean nothing. I haven't got any power. They don't want to follow me as a Guru. Guru Nanak Dev has a power. We want to follow Guru Nanak. So that's the point of Sikhi. We want to invoke the power of Guru Nanak to protect us. Guru Prasad, we're going to get this. So we're going to finish off if we can with just a couple of bits of Simran because the next part says Jab. Yeah? Jab. Jab means chant. Chant, chant, chant. With your eyes, see Wahi Guru. See Guru. With your ears, hear Guru. With your mouth, speak the Guru. And then, with your mind, love the Guru. Antar Guru Aradhana. Jeva Jab Guru Nao, Netri Satkur Pekhna, Sarni Sunna Guru Nao, Satkur Seti Rateya. Become absorbed with Satguru and then you get a place in the heaven. Darge Paye Pa. Then you get a place. So we're going to finish off with just a little bit of Simran. And this time, try and imagine this is the gift of Guru Nanak. This is what we've been given. This is the path 
to enlightenment. The simplest, simplest path ever, just call Wahiguru. Pretend you're a phone and now call. And let's see if you can connect. Kids, well, there are a couple of kids, but there's no kids making noise. 
and everybody singing together. And if we can do this even once a week or once a month, our life will improve. If we can say Wahi Guru by ourselves, our life will improve. If we just want to open up to Guruji and say, I'm here to learn from you. And the truth is, if we don't say Wahi Guru, we waste this life. If we say Wahi Guru, we'll get a treasure we can't even value with money. The biggest treasure ever. I'm sure I've made loads of mistakes, so we'll get the maaf from ourselves. Please, please try and encourage more people to come every Sunday, 6 or 7 p.m. And we'll try and go through Japji side for a bit and then to the slok at the end. Simple, simple sikhi that everybody can relate to. Pulla chuka maaf karniya. Ta sat guru saamne jiri asi fateh bulande hai giyen. Uda jawaab fateh vishdena wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh.